All right, everybody. We're back again for Resident Evil. And for real, we're back again. Even though you guys didn't know that we were already here before, we were. And things went horribly awry. Um, every... We, we, how many episodes? We did like eight to ten episodes of this. We had to have done at least eight, but probably more like nine or ten. And all of the, all of the video was not video. Because PlayStation. No, it doesn't have anything <laughs> to do with the PlayStation. It has so many, like, sub-commands that you have to hit in there and, like, make it work on the capture. It's like, set this to this, set this to this, and then set this to this. And, like, of course, it... No, yeah, like, but, like, like one of those settings got got made, and then it changed. Yeah, but as we found out, once you get the settings right, it looks great. So it's not it, all bad. It, it looks okay. I think it looks great. Anyway, let's start this game, Resident Evil 5. It's not as unpopular as Resident Evil 6. <laughs> it, I, that's how I basically. I've never view actually it, right? played Resident Evil 6. I've only played 5. Oh, well, I've oh. played 5, but I've also played 4 before. I've never played um, 6, but I want to really bad because I. I like, I've seen it played in its entirety, and I want to play it because of its, quote, badness. I think it would be a lot of fun. You said six? Six, yeah. Yeah. I, Resident Evil 5 is the only one I've played. But I played on 360, the superior console. Anyway. I'm going to be Shiva. Yeah. I, I don't, the only recommendation I think that you should do is make sure that you have the shotgun instead of the dragon off. Okay. Should I have infinite ammo? No. No. You are you're already starting with ammo like like weapons from last time. So you, we we're trying to make it wanna want it to be a little bit fair or not fair, but unfair. Because it wouldn't be fun. If it wasn't hard I which mean, it already is. I would have lots of fun killing lots of zombies without having to worry about doing your ammo, but that's just me. Yeah, but you'll get all of the, all of those um, pissy viewers that we don't seem to really have that are gonna be like, she's not even playing playing the game right. Yeah, because it's not about my enjoyment. <laughs> it's not. It's not. That's what we need to learn right now. Um, I think Chris has that shot. Uh, like the. Sh what I have a shotgun. Oh, you have a shotgun. Oh, I have a shotgun okay. right there. I think Chris has all the ammo. For well, I'll get it. There we go. That's, is this a shotgun? Oh, shotgun shells. Okay. Do your um, AI partners loot, like, actually spend their ammunition in this game? I don't think so. I, I think your partner has infinite ammo. I don't really know. You know what you should do? Get rid of that fucking um, landmine. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really need that right now. But you might need that, um, those, those herbs over there that Chris has. There we go. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, handgun ammo. Handgun ammo. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. If you want, you, do you want to keep that um, that one green herb? I mean, probably. No. Well, give, give it to Chris. Give it to Chris. I bet. I don't know if he can use it quickly, but he might be able to use it on you if he needs to. All right. Let's play this. This shipment. <clears throat> Loading screen, sweet. Anyway, um, we did talk about how is this? Wait, this is a cutscene. Okay, Can I skip it or play through it. Um, y'all want to see this? Uh, it, 
It's not very long, is it? Mm. They're, they're, all they do is like, we got this thing and this thing no, over I there. Mean, we can talk about like what we did for, you know, our last ten episodes that never <laughs> actually got recorded. Um, we died a lot <laughs> because I can't work the PlayStation controller. Oh, also, and the controls is... are a little like non-intuitive in this game, no matter what system you're playing on anyway. Unless, I, I don't know if there's a PC port to it, but I'm pretty sure you could find your control if it was on PC. Anyway, what are you going to say? I was going to say, it's kind of a good thing that we're restarting this, because the first two episodes would have been, basically been main navigation screens. <laughs> um, I don't think anyone wants to sit through that, so this is kind of a really great, um, fresh start. <laughs> Captain here. I like how their own captions are like that, that, like, rough font. Like, you know what, did you, did you see it? No. It's like... The font of the game text is also the font of the, like, dialogue in the caption. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, well, not that font, but it would make more sense if it was that font just because it's easier to read. I know that you probably didn't watch that, um... It didn't take long after the... Ah, uh, I should have should have made Shiva the club and Shiva version. <laughs> I have clubbing. Other... Clubbing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's clubbing. When you get in the menu, it's clubbing with like an apostrophe. An... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. She has like a really short blonde wig and a gold like bikini like costume. And Chris Redfield, I still, if if those episodes had recorded, I still think that we should have been. Um, Operatives of the that, like, BSAA super suave to Chris Redfield. Neutralize bio suave? I don't think zebra print is suave in any <laughs> regard. <laughs> That's like a bad Saturday Night Live get outfit. Maybe not bad. Depend, depends on who is who is playing it. Can you turn the sound up a little bit? Yeah, I don't know. I, just, I didn't turn it down that much, did I? I did. It's an honor. If I can't hear it, I still can't hear any of it. When we turned it on, it was like, boom! It's like, it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American. Yeah, that's, yeah, probably, that's, good. that's probably good. That's probably good. That's why I'm your partner. Help put them at ease. I just have an sure interest in fine. what they're saying as well as the audience. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, there's actually a person behind the screen playing this game. <laughs> Okay. It's it's just a typical thing to for so, for people who do what we do to like oops I'm ignoring it all. Ignoring what? Ignoring, ignoring the plot, I guess. Yeah, oh, I don't really necessarily care about the plot, but I do care about like the in-game sound. Sometimes that actually does like, kind of tip me off. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a big indicator. You know? Yeah. I thought you were referring to the Maybe plot. No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I've played this game a couple of times now. I I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. I think. I think. That guy's getting handy. Get yeah, like, in a minute she's gonna be like, go. already have guns on. Why doesn't she have guns on now? Because I think that, I feel like, no matter like how shitty of a person you are, you're probably not gonna go and touch, you know, go touching on somebody that's a fully armed, fully armed and ready to go. Well, I mean, that guy's also fully armed, so maybe that's why he's not that intimidated. Maybe. <clears throat> so the history. You want to go into some of the, the lore of Resident Evil? No. Oh, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually read the first two books that they made of this that were of the game, which is funny because the reason I think I like ended up reading them was because like I was so into like the Halo book. They're they're not really comparable. Like um. Like, the Halo books, even though they go over parts of the game, and it, it actually expanded the lore since Master Chief doesn't talk in the game, and then, um, things like that, but, I don't know. They weren't horrible, I guess. I do know that there's Gears of War, like, um, comics, and I haven't read them, but I, like, glanced at them before, and they look, they look really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you probably aren't aren't down with the years, are you? Uh, I don't know very much about it now. Can I say? Can you sprint yet? Uh, I don't know. Like, why can't I like walk faster than this? What's going on? 
Am I gonna take all my stuff? Maybe. Hit, I think that one of the buttons is sprinting. Oh, yeah, it's really good. It's X. <laughs> you sprinted right <laughs> into a cutscene. It's X. Still, though, don't you feel like the camera is like, really close to where she is? I feel like that's not how close it was in like, the last playthrough. I think it's because you don't have weapons equipped yet. It gives um, you like a different... Oh, wait a minute. Is is she left-handed? Is that why the camera's on... I'm not sure if it works that way. Uh, I don't think it does. It'd be cool if it was, and you could, like, change what, like... I know that there are games that do that. There was not enough time for all the people who were just behind you to, like, run away. There are dudes in the middle of kicking a person in a sack. Like, they don't know. They don't know that there's impending doom. Impending doom. I'm pretty sure she's left-handed. Because Chris is on, was on the other side of the she screen. She just used her right hand to open that door. It, we'll see. In 6, it's, in Resident Evil 6, you can change. You can if, change your your dominant hand? Yeah. That's weird. Okay, why? What's what's the point of that, really? What What are you, like, racist against left-handed people no. or something? No, not That's at all. Why. I'm That's just curious why. as to why that matters in the game. It matters because of the person playing it. Jeez. Okay. Oh, that was that was that was humorous. Uh, knocking me a nut. Oh my god. Jeez, I'm so offended by your you you not liking left handed people. I don't. People. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> so I don't know whether to be upset or uh, embarrassed or ignore you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with ignore you. Mm. Um. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, can't get any of that. Okay, cool. I really hate how this camera looks right now. What's up? What happened? Yeah, another cutscene. Good God! Yeah, gratuitous cutscenes in this game. Destination coordinates. Found squares up ahead. Go through there. Go through there. <laughs> Good. Is he supposed to be like a throwback to what you buy it? I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 4, that always just like made me laugh. I don't know why, but every time like I would watch my friends play it, or I would play it, what are you buying? What you sell? <laughs> Probably because of like that non accent that uh, the guy has. Like he has like an accent that's like not. You can't tell, like, what colloquialism it is. I guess it's not what colloquialism it is, but, like, you know, what act, where where he's from. He just has, like, a really weird accent. Right. Ooh, let's investigate this rotting flesh. <laughs> yeah, full of maggots. Oh, I didn't, I didn't want to do that again. God. Did, did Chris just pick, like, knock it, like, break a box and pick up gold? Is that what that noise was? Remember, yeah, we're a team. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, we stick together. Don't worry. I may not be a but I can still hold my own. Yeah, well, I, 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 I didn't know that your your companion did it on their own. I mean, I have good friends, what can I say? When, when you play this in split screen, the first person who walks into a thing like that is the only person who gets that cutscene. Those, those like quick cutscenes like that, and the other person just keeps walking, and it's super like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, well, we're getting pretty close for the first boss fight, as I'm pretty sure. Okay. That's why you need that shotgun. That's the best way to, like, take him, take him down. I-M-O. Yeah. Yep. I'm a speed reader. I actually had a teacher, I think in high school, that could speed read. Like, you remember when there was commercials for those, like, uh, learn how to speed read, and there's, like, weird books on how to speed read, and, like, people would, like, you'd see them, like, put their hand down the paper and, like, go, and it seems like a gimmicky bullshit thing that's not real. It's totally mm -hmm. real, and I've seen it. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, actually. You never heard of speed reading? No. Like... The, my teacher would, like, take our papers and, like, she could read them all in, like, ten minutes. Huh. Like, 
if you wanted to help on something, you're like, what do you think of this? And she'd look at it and she'd just take her hand and go, like, rub it all over it. Because she's, like, following the words. And she'd be like, oh, well, this isn't, like, I'm like, I was, like, the first time she did it, I was like, whoa, did you, did you just read all that? And she's like, yeah. Like, you can actually do that? She's like, yeah. I don't know. Like, I can't really read that incredible. I mean, I feel like I can read pretty fast, but not, not so fast that I, I feel like I just wouldn't be able to retain the information. Like, I'd read it really fast and be like, okay, I read it, but well, what did I just read? <laughs> <laughs>